My name is Paul Greenberg. I'm from New York City. I'm the author of the book Four Fish. And for me, Bristol Bay is about saving probably the purest, uh, most healthy, uh, most nutritious protein on Earth. Hi, I'm Ken Baldwin. I'm a guide for the Rainbow Bay Resort. There's no salmon. You can say goodbye to the grizzly bears. You can say goodbye to the brown bear. You can say goodbye to the eagles. You can say goodbye to that environment because the salmon is the lifeblood of that watershed. I'm a commercial fisherman in Bristol Bay, and we should save this beautiful place. It's where my family started fishing. It's where my family continues to fish. And it's where 1,800 other people are commercial fishermen. And it represents my livelihood. Hi, I'm Donnie Ottaway. I'm a trout bum and firefighter from Denver, Colorado. And I hope that the governor and the citizens of Alaska realize what a precious thing they have and how yeah. valuable it is. Hi, my name's Bubba McLean. I'm from Maui, Hawaii. And I've been fishing in Alaska for seven years. I want to ask all of you out there to please stand together. Let's fight Pebble Mine. Let's protect this amazing resource called Bristol Bay. And let's keep eating that wonderful, fresh, healthy, high in omega-3, beautiful sockeye salmon that comes from these pristine waters. Why do we want to save Bristol Bay? Or this guy. This guy is our future generation. He's going to be fishing there. Bristol Bay, Alaska is one of the most gorgeous, untouched, pristine parts of the United States of America. The rivers of this region provide over 50% of the world's sockeye salmon. Sockeye salmon is one of the last five remaining wild species of salmon available to us, and it's one of the most delicious fish in the world. Two foreign mining companies want to develop North America's largest open pit mine at the headwaters of the rivers that supply the salmon to us every single year. They're gonna build this gigantic dam between two natural mountains to just house this 10 billion tons of, of waste. And that's there forever, leaching its way into that ecosystem, right there at the headwaters of one of the most productive places on Earth. Phew, we could wipe out an entire species here. Here, tucked away in a part of Alaska that very few people visit because it's so remote, comes something every single year that continuously supplies us. Yet by putting in Pebble Mine, we will have a potential devastating effect upon one of the last resources left. I'm not necessarily saying that mining is a bad thing. I'm just saying that this is a bad place for a mine. 50 to 100 years of supplying us with gold and copper would, would come to an end, it would dry up. Yet this renewable resource of salmon would also come to an end, which is extremely short-sighted in a growing global population. We don't even know how we're going to feed the planet going forward as it is. This is one of the last natural supplies of excellent food for us, yet we're being very short-minded about consideration of a, of a short-term mine uh, opportunity. We all know the, the story about Midas and how he was so greedy and wanted so much that gold that when he touched it, everything turned to gold and everybody starved to death because you can't eat gold. You can eat salmon. The Environmental Protection Agency with the Clean Water Act can put a halt to the development of the permits that are needed in order for this mine to reach fruition. It's a critical point right now. This is where we can take things and change and turn it around. Well, what salmon consumers, chefs, and everyone can do is send a message directly to President Obama by logging on to www.savebristolbay.org and encouraging the Environmental Protection Agency to bring a halt to Pebble Mine. If you see Bristol Bay salmon on a menu, buy it, support it. It may be one of your last opportunities. Protecting Bristol Bay is a smart way of protecting our nation's health and economy and doing it in a delicious manner.